Hello guys, welcome to FM 2021. In this video we are going to check Partizan Belgrade. Very interesting club to manage in Serbia. Partizan always has some great young players, some great wonder kids and this is the reason why you should manage them. Ok, first let's see training facilities. Partizan Belgrade has a really nice stadium, capacity around 30,000, training facilities are 16, youth facilities 16, junior coaching 16, but youth recruitment the maximum possible 20, corporate facilities are only 13. Ok, now let's check uh, team leaders. Partizan has three team leaders, one of them is goalkeeper Vladimir Stojkovic, then Milan Smiljanic, in my opinion he can't be team leader because in real life he's not playing at all and he's a really poor player. Ok, then Miloš Jojic, a player with a really big experience, played for many clubs, also for Borussia Dortmund. Uh, in real life he still didn't show what he can do, yeah. Ok, and we have a couple of players with a really high influence, so for now you should not worry about team leaders. Now let's check all the players and their current and potential abilities. So the best player at Partizan Belgrade with a current ability 131 is Bibar Snatko, incredible deep line playmaker, passing 16, vision 16. The, the only problem is that in real life he's not playing that good this year. Ok, then we have Takuma Sano, an incredibly fast winger, acceleration 17, pace 16, problems with crossing, crossing only 8. Ok, then we have new face, that's Jean Christophe Baybeck, a uh, really fantastic speed, physical attributes, some great technical attributes for this French uh, striker or winger. In real life he's injured and he didn't show anything. Yeah. Then we have hot heads, say Duba Suma, awesome technical attributes, problems with mental attributes and with some physical attributes, but really unpredictable player. Uh, then we have Lazar Markovic, uh, as you remember he was playing for Liverpool, but now he's not that good. In real life uh, he's playing terrible if you're asking me, his current ability 123. We have Miloš Jojic, uh, also a player who played for Borussia Dortmund, we spoke about him, one of the team leaders. Still some nice attributes, current ability 121, ok, here you can check all the players, their current and potential abilities. Uh, do we have some young players uh, with some nice potential, let's see that. Uh, yes, we have Filip Stevanovic, but actually he's a new player of Manchester City, Partizan sold him and now he's on loan at Partizan Belgrade, uh, really nice potential ability 151. Then uh, we have uh, 18 years old Stefan Admanovic, but not that great potential, only 112. He is nothing special, wing back, yeah. Ok, Lazar Pavlovic, still playing for Partizan, still player of Partizan Belgrade, only 18 years old. And we see that he has great potential, 142, you should need, you need to pay attention to him to give him some minutes in the first team, that's very important. Then we have goalkeeper Aleksandar Popovic, very young, not bad, potential ability 135. Ok, then 20 years old, uh, Nikola Lakčević, uh, not that bad, potential ability 128. Not bad, not that good, ok. Svetozar Marković, another player who is on loan from the other club, he is on loan from Olympiakos. Uh, really good potential, 145. And we have Luka Susin, Susin uh, 21 years old, wing back, uh, with a potential ability 129. Ok, uh, now let's see, uh, B team, do we have some interesting players there? And uh, we have one very young interesting player, DM, that's Uroš Knežević, he's 18 years old CM and we see that his potential is 138, yeah, so also needs some minutes in the first team if you want uh, to make him a really great uh, DM. Ok, uh, now let's see under 19 squad. Uh, and there we have... Uh, Samet Bajdar, 16 years old striker or attacking midfielder. Uh, actually can play in many positions, that's great, uh, really nice, nice future in front of him. Ok, also we have Vanya Vlahovic, uh, winger, potential ability 135, ok, the other players are ok, but not like these two, yeah. Ok, so this would be my first team and I would play in formation 4-2-3-1. An attack has advanced forward, I will use buyback. Uh, very interesting French player, we spoke about him and in real life he, he is injured, he showed nothing, yeah. Uh, then behind him uh, Suma, attacking Mithri, he is going to feed Baybeck with some nice passing skills. 
then Filip Stevanovic on the right side as inverted winger support duty and Takuma Sano inside forward on the left side Takuma Sano has terrible crossing so it's better to use him as inside forward than as a winger okay then uh, Mezala Jojic and deep line playmaker defensive duties Dialar Partizan has really poor wing backs on the left side we have Urošević who's going to play as a full back support duty a uh, really poor full back and on the right side we have Mikovic also terrible crossing as you see guys um, he's uh, he's really bad uh, so it's not a bad idea to buy a new wing backs that would be really nice okay uh, then pair of central defenders I would use Banyak as a ball playing defender he has really nice technique at least in FM in real life I'm not sure okay then uh, Svetozar Markovic as a central defender and on the goal um, sweeper keeper Vladimir Stojkovic okay at the end I will show you some players that you should try to sign like all those clubs from Serbia Partizan Belgrade doesn't have some great finances transfer budget 2.3 million wage budget 160,000 okay and uh, this is my short list of some players that you should be able to sign first on that list is uh, Victor Paulson a really great ball winning Victor can play in many positions even he can play as a wing back uh, he's probably better than most of wing backs in, at Partizan Belgrade and his price between uh, half of million and 700,000 really worth of buying then next is Jozo Simunovic Bostian central defender fantastic player for Partizan Belgrade check his uh, jumping reach heading plus he's a free agent that's great yeah next is Daniel Torres Colombian ball winning mitter also free agent fantastic uh, player for Partizan Belgrade next is Hamza Gambian advanced playmaker free agent uh, Renato Santos Portuguese inside forward check this technical attributes this is really wow also great speed would be really fantastic signing for any club in Serbia okay the next would be Johandri Orozco Venezuelan winger also awesome technical attributes nice speed also you should try to sign for example Lucas Rodriguez Argentinian advanced playmaker price between 1 and 1.7 million some great passing skills okay uh, then Florin Tennessee Romanian winger Price between half a million seven hundred. Really interesting player for Partizan Belgrade. Then Howard Nilsson, Norwegian pressing forward. Yeah, he can be a really good addition for Partizan Belgrade. Um, and he's very cheap player, cheap striker. Then Wilder Guisalo, Colombian winger, also can play as a striker. Price between uh, 200 and 400,000. And Dani Pacheco, Spanish inside forward or striker. I mean, he's a free agent and can be awesome addition for Partizan Belgrade.